Well, welcome back to Clayton Schick Outdoors. Of course, I'm Clayton Schick and well, it's not the outdoors, but we will be in the outdoors right away for this video. Like the title of the video says, we're giving the shelter away. Two of them actually. And then we'll have a pike video coming up, coming up after this giveaway. I had a bad audio file for the introduction for my next video. So it kind of worked out well. I can do an introduction for the next video and talk about that. But first, give the shelter away. First, anybody that had commented on the last video was entered into this giveaway. I never got to heart all of the comments on that last video. My computer will let me go through like the first 3000 comments and it kept freezing up, fees are freezing up. The web browser just would not load all the comments in. Same thing on my phone, it was an absolute disaster. But over 5,000 comments, the comment picker ended up with 4,737 names that basically weren't duplicate from, so what happens is, there's 5,000 some comments, but a lot of that will be duplicate names. So when I can go down here, I can take out all the duplicate names so you can only be entered one time. We have a winner from the States. We have a winner from Canada. The winner from the States is Luke Markham. Thank you very much for your entry. Still waiting for the Clay vs. J from the US. Clay vs. J will be coming. It might be waiting for open water at this point, but there will be more Clay vs. J at one point. So Luke, comment below in this video. Uh, and we will we'll connect and we will get you that shelter. Otter will be, will be shipping you that shelter directly. So I'll get your address and everything from you. And the winner from Canada, Kelly Hayward. Been subscribed for a couple years now, no regrets. Like all, like all your videos. I like all your videos. I am your neighbor living in Warman, Saskatchewan. So he's a little bit farther away. It's funny how in Canada, how we can, we can determine four or five hours as a neighbor. Now, yes, I did used to live in Saskatoon and Warman at one point, but that was 10 years ago already. But that's how in Canada, four hours, we consider each other neighbors. So Kelly and Luke, congratulations to you both. Kelly, get, we'll get in contact here, you and me, and I will get you this shelter, whether I drop it off for you somehow or, or mail it to you, UPS, something like that. So congratulations to both of you guys more giveaways in the future for sure. I don't know if you can see behind me. I have this auger to give away at some point, an Ion R1 auger. We'll be giving that puppy away at some point, as well as a Dakota lithium power box and a 23 amp hour battery, I believe is what they are sending me to give away as well. So it's exciting. Thank you so much to Otter for participating in this and giving stuff away to people that could use it. Anyways, the Pike video. Like I said, bad audio file. I went out to do some more pike and walleye. It wasn't a barn burner of a day, but we put a couple big pike on the ice. So we will jump right into the action, right meow. It's so neat just watching everything happen on the underwater camera. I was going through my footage from my last video and right before this big pike came in that I actually, I think I caught that one. Yeah, I think it bit and I caught it. There was a, a, a crayfish walking across and then the pike came and the crayfish just like froze solid. Didn't move at all. The pike came, ate the bait, took off. The crawfish later went and swam, not swam, crawled into this like little hole and set itself there. It sat there for the whole day. Finally, as it like started to get darker, it got up and it walked away again. It was so cool to watch it all happen. Right? I didn't see it happen, but there was a crayfish sitting there below my bait the whole time, just kind of chilling for the day. So maybe they're more, they move more during the, like the peak hours uh, the crayfish do, and maybe that's sometimes where the walleye bites even maybe that much better, say sometimes the first light and last light, maybe the bait's moving often more than too, but it was so cool to watch it just crawl, crawl into the hole, sit there all day, and then eventually crawl its way out and keep on moving. Well, I think I'm going to get a tip up set up outside and have that flag set up kind of like I did in a video. I don't know if it was the last video or a couple videos ago, but have it further away from the shack and then run the camera all the way into the shack and then keep an eye on it, monitor it from, from in here. But I think fishing for pike, I should be spread out a little bit for sure. If you know, if you go tip up fishing, it's good to spread out your tip ups a little bit, obviously not crazy amount where you can't see your flags or when you're not uh, in the regulations. Like I think it's 25 meters, don't quote me on that but you have to obviously stay within the rules too, but you do want to spread them out a little bit and not have them all kind of clumped together. So let's get a tip up outside. And then, uh, yeah, I have a feeling we're going to put a big one on the ice today. I just got that feeling. Okay, we are recording on the outside. Got that all set up with a uh, little Cisco. And then here we're going to run like a 10 inch Savage Gear 
3D bourbon. They look so good. I've caught big Lakers on these, some pike. I've never ice fish, ice fish with them though. Look, how oh, good that looks. Oh boy, as if a pike won't crush that thing. <laughs> so good. Also, we're gonna have the walleye rod ready to go too if a walleye swims by and hopefully hopefully get a little bit of everything on the camera yet today slow start though for the day very slow start oh jeez <sighs> i'm changing a head camera battery and honestly i heard something which was my flag and look at whenever i'm not looking that's when it happens like i just literally said it's slow okay main camera and pliers and we go we got a live old drill behind us it's so funny that I heard the flag. I heard something out there. I looked over and my, there's a pike with my bait. Oh, I should have brought sunglasses too. It's gonna hit him right away. From what I could tell, an underwater camera it looked pretty good it really did that camera is not the best angle but that's okay it's bright outside that was so cool literally literally just finished saying it's been slow today this one looked big it really did it feels good too just got this bait out here like i'm i don't know about 50 feet from the shack It's got lots of weight. Like it feels heavy. It feels really heavy. Easy girl, easy. Easy. I wish I had my sunglasses. My eyes do not like bright, bright sun. Go easy at the hole. I just got a single treble. Where are you, buddy? Where are you? Where are you? It's at the bottom of the hole here somewhere, that's for sure. Easy. I can't see without my sunglasses. Oh. Oh. Oh, it's big. Oh, there it is. There it is. There it is. There it is. Oh, it took, for, it took a little bit to get it up. That's a big mouth. Wow, that's a big fish. That's a big one. Oh, boy. That's a big one. Yes. <laughs> so good. I can't even tell if I'm in the frame because I don't have my sunglasses on. That's big. Come on, baby. We're just going to get you unhooked right here. We'll get you unhooked right here and get you back. We're going to go straight to the live all with it. Put it in there. Take out the hook. Show it off there. It's a good one. Okay. Hook's free. Quick dunk. Easy, easy. She's got lots of energy. We'll measure her quick. It's over 40. I'd say 40 and a half probably. Something like that. Okay. Yeah, exactly. 40 and a half. We've got a little bit of blood, but she'll be good. She'll be good. Oh, and there goes my head camera. I'm not even good. I got no, my head camera battery just died. So I don't have any footage of her going down at the live well, but oh, there she, there she goes. I'll have footage of her going down at the shack though, at least. So amazing, amazing. Oh, my hands are cold. It's the one thing we deal with these critters outside when it's cold. You gotta be quick with them. Everything freezes so fast. Okay, we are reset. Oh, why is that not? There's a good chance that I wasn't recording on that underwater strike. My thing's not blinking, it's just solid red. I'm hoping something happened after the fact. Well, I don't know whether I'll have underwater footage of that last pike. I'm sure it was blinking red before, but something happened to the cord, so I don't know whether that would have saved or not. Something happens with these media recorders if you unplug them. Before you save the file, they can go bad, and I think my cord went bad. I did a bunch of switching around, and it seems like my cord is bad. It happens. 
which unless I can get this fixed and dry it out or something, I will be basically just recording with one camera. I just remembered I had an extra cord in my truck. <laughs> How amazing is that? Like what's the chance of me having an extra HDMI to HDMI in my truck? Unbelievable. I feel like I should order another one of these Aver Media because it's just like one of those things I should have with me as an extra because stuff happens all the time. Stuff quits working. It just, it just happens. Oh, 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 look at, look at. Um, yep. That's a big mouth. Oh, that's a big one. That's a big one. That's a good one. That's a big mouth on that thing. Oh baby, oh baby. I'm trying to go quiet. Don't go too fast to your flags. Quiet, quiet. Oh, there it goes. Look at it peel. See how it wasn't, it wasn't running at all? I got close to the flag and then all of a sudden it just started to take away. Okay, here we go. That fish looked pretty good on the camera. I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> Walking up to the flags quiet is is a good idea. Don't don't rush there, don't run there. You make noise, that fish is gonna feel like something's up and he's just gonna take off. Or spit the bait, I should say. Come on, baby. What do we got going on? Uh, like, I don't know, you can never judge size for sure on the underwater camera, but it looked pretty big. Had a big mouth anyway. It's right here at the bottom of the hole. Come on. Where are you, buddy? He's stuck here somewhere. There he is. Easy, easy, easy. Love when that water starts to be pushed. Just take your time at the hole. Oh, that's a good one, man, that's a good one. That's a good one, easy, easy, come up, come up, come on, come on, come on. If it gets back down, I gotta let go. No, we're good, we're good. Oh, that's a big one again. Oh, geez, that's big, big fatty. Unbelievable, unbelievable. Wow, 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 wow. Let's get this hook out quick. I'm going to take her in the shack where it's warm so I don't freeze her eyes and deal with her in there. Give her a quick drink. Okay, got the hooks out. I'm not going out to get my main camera. There she is right there, another 41 inch fish, something like that, big fat one. We're gonna let her go right here. Hook was deep. So I brought her in the shack. There she goes. You know what, before I explain everything, I'll go get my main camera in here and we'll talk about it like that. Okay, we're set up again. I won't rant too long, but having somewhere to bring a fish when it's cold out, especially right now, the wind picked up a bit, those eyes freeze in no time. The hook was deep enough where even in the water, I felt like I just couldn't get a good handle on it and get it out. And I didn't want those eyes to freeze. So we brought it inside where she was safe, gave her a drink, took the hook out, gave her another drink, showed her off, sent it down. I didn't even, I didn't even go back and get the main camera. I didn't put that fish in the live oil or anything like that. Just didn't want to waste too much time in that sense. Got to take care of those fish. I try not to get too preachy in my videos because people get mad at them, but if you're not tip up, if you're tip up fishing and it's cold outside, really consider putting up a shelter, even if it's a smaller shelter with a heater in there, just so you have somewhere to bring those fish in and deal with them because you wouldn't, you'd be surprised how fast those eyes can freeze. And if you freeze a fish's eyes, as far as I know, he's gonna be blind. I, I don't know the whole, obviously the, the whole spectrum and how that works, but you just gotta try to take care of them. I do my best and I want everybody else to. And like I said, I don't wanna get too preachy and people get upset. You know, they're quit do just, they always say, worry about yourself, don't worry about everybody else. And it's like, well, you know what, if I can just help one person or change one person's mind, say, you know what, let's pop up a shelter, a small shelter with a heater on it. 
and just be ready. I tip up fish out of my truck all the time, but usually when it's nice enough that if I all of a sudden run into a situation where the fish is going to be outside for an extended period of time, it's going to be warmer out. Like the live wall right now, even eat, I have to go out there and like kick it open every like 20 minutes because it's freezing over. So just take care of those fish. That's all. I know I sound preachy. I apologize, but I just care about the fish and growing great big ones. I really want to put like a 48 incher on the ice one day on camera, right? Get a cool, wicked underwater eat and show them off and send her back home. And maybe one day she'll be 52. I don't know, but you can't catch big ones if you kill the little ones. Don't get me wrong. I'm not saying don't eat fish because I love to eat fish. I'd like to mess around with circle hooks at some point because circle hooks obviously would be the most ideal thing in terms of like always just mouth hooking or corner hooking a fish and getting a perfect release on them type of thing or the perfect hook out. But I just haven't played around with them enough, but I, I know I really need to. I know some of my friends and guides that I used to guide with do and, and swear by it. And they're, they're very good fishermen and they're very good fish conservationists too. So it's something I should definitely consider at some point is trying to do the whole circle hook thing for sure. This is the setup I've been using for rod and reel combo. It's Mr. Big 43 inch heavy made by Frostbite. This one is the medallion series. I have some medallion and burnt series. Both are, are good. I think my, I prefer the medallion series with the titanium guides and fishing outside, just less freezing up issues. But it has been an unbelievably good pike fishing rod. I'm not going to lie. I, I love it. It's, it's just got the perfect action, I feel like. It's been very, very good. And then I've got it paired with a 2500 Stratic 30-pound Power Pro. And I've talked a little bit about my setup uh, in terms of a rig that I'm using. I'm not sure if I've talked about it at all in this video. So maybe I will. I'll tie one up here yet later if I, if I catch another fish. Oh, look at that walleye. That's a pretty big walleye, actually. Oh, it just took off. Why was it so scared? Hmm. It went right up to my bait on my my Cisco. Oh, it's going back again. Look at that. Is it going to eat that Cisco? I'm just getting my bait ready here because a lot of times when I see one walleye on camera, I see more than one. That's a nice one, though. It's not a small walleye. It's not giant, but it's not a small walleye. Come on, eat that Cisco, buddy. Eat that Cisco, do it. Do it, eat that Cisco. Eat it. Come on. Oh, do it, eat that Cisco. That's awesome to watch. Come on, eat it, eat it. Oh, it's thinking about it. It's definitely thinking, well, that's a good walleye. It's about a seven inch Cisco probably. So that means that walleye is probably around 24, 25 inches. That is so amazing. That clarity is so good. I wish I could have that bait with me, just kind of just tap it to get its interest going, but clearly it's pretty far away. Chances are even if that walleye ate it, he might feel like something's up and spit it with that wire and stuff like that. Dropped on my walleye bait now, just in case he comes this way. But that's about 50 feet he's got to come over. Oh, look at that fish coming right at the camera. I want to get the bourbon down there. Oh baby, oh baby, oh baby, oh baby, oh baby, that's a big one. I wonder if I can get him to pay attention to the bourbon. Oh, here he comes. I could drop down a meal for him too. Oh, look at that underbite. He is sizing up that bourbon for sure. Or no, he's going to the camera. Oh, here he comes. That's a big one. Oh, come on. Come on. Oh, he, he 
took a swipe at it. We took a swipe at it. We took a swipe at it. Come on. Come on. Come on. Oh, I scared him. I scared him. Is he going to come back? Where'd he go? Oh, he took a swipe at it. He's never had the hook ever. That was, oh, here he comes. Here he comes. Come on. Come on. You know what? I wonder if I should be dropping him a meal here. I think I could possibly catch him on the, this bait. He's a little bit spooked of it though. Let's see if he's still in the area and drop him a Cisco. Hopefully he takes off to my other bait anyway. He's in the area, which is good, right? So I got just the dead bait down here for a second in case he comes back now that we spooked him. That was a big one though, that was another big one. Well, this video was short and sweet, so we'll keep the outro short and sweet. Sun is set a little while ago, lost all visibility on cameras. That's it, not a barn burner today, but two big pike in one day is a huge win. Never talked a lot today about location, anything like that, but I know Carter wants to get out and do some pike fishing soon, and it's gonna be warmer. We're gonna do some pike fishing outside, and we'll talk more about what to look for. You probably noticed I've been fishing pretty shallow water the last last couple videos, so that might be a good sign for you, or a good hint for you right there. But like I said, short and sweet. Thank you so much for watching, and don't forget, get outside.